How to create an animated black hole effect in DaVinci Resolve 17.4.6. Inside your project's edit window, go to Effects. Underneath Toolbox, select Effects and go to find Fusion Composition. Click and drag one of these effect filters to your edits timeline. By default, the Fusion clip will run for 5 seconds of screen time. To change this, select the clip and hold in Ctrl and press D. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. And type in the duration that you wish to have inside the new window which appears. Click Change when you're done. Right click on your new Fusion Composition clip and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside the Nodes panel in your Fusion window, hold in Shift and press Space to open up the Select Tool window. Use the search box at the bottom to find the Ellipse tool. Select this and go to click on Add. To preview your work inside the Fusion window as you go along, select the relevant node and choose either left or right view below this, depending on what side of the screen you wish the preview to appear in. We will use this node to create the shape of the particles that will swirl around inside the black hole animation. With this new node selected, go to Inspector and underneath Controls, change Soft Edge to 0.07 to add a gentle blurred edge to your particles. Set the width to 0.025 and set the height to 0.35. Return to your nodes grid, hold in Shift and press Space again and go to add a P emitter node. This node will spawn the particles that will float around our black hole. In order to use the edited ellipse shape as our particles, we need to be able to feed the ellipse node to the p-emitter node. At present there is no connection available to the p-emitter node. In order to make this possible, with the p-emitter 1 node selected, under Inspector, select Style, and change Style from Point to Bitmap. You should now see a yellow triangle appearing to the left side of P emitter 1. Click on the grey box alongside ellipse 1, hold and drag your mouse cursor to the yellow triangle, letting go to make a connection. With P emitter still selected, go to controls under inspector. We will reduce the number of particles that spawn by changing number under emitter from 10 to 2. Open up the velocity menu. To have the particles float at a gentle speed, Increase the value of velocity slightly to 0.025. To have the particles float away from our source on screen, which is currently represented by the red circle which appears, we will change angle to 90 so that these float upwards. And to have the particles float in slightly different directions, change angle variance to 25. Reselect style, go to fade controls, in order to have each of the particles fade in at the start of its lifespan, we will increase fade in slightly to 0.1. The higher the value here, the longer the fade transition will be for each of our particles. And we will have the duration of the fade out process slightly longer by decreasing the out value from 1.0 to 0.7. Select region, change region from sphere to line, in order to have the particles float upwards from a horizontal starting position, with P emitter selected, hold in Shift and press Space again, and go to add a P Render tool. Connect P Render 1 to Media Out 1, and ensure that P Render is set to the preview screen by selecting either right or left view, and return to the P Emitter node. Under Inspector and Region again, we will now spread out the emission source horizontally on our canvas. The coordinates of our line will change later on when we start creating the circular effect of our black hole. These coordinates in the meantime will present the flowing particles on screen whilst we reform them. Select P Render 1, hold Shift and press Space, and go to select the Coordinate Space node. Ensure that you select either the left or right view underneath Media Out 1 and set the keyframe pointer on your fusion timeline to a frame over a second into your video in order to preview the black hole circular effect. Select P Render 1. On screen your particles should shift position and you should see two green nodes appearing towards the bottom of your screen where we set the original particle emission line. Select the node to the left and use the checkered background 
of the frame on the Fusion Preview window to drag this new emitter node four blocks to the right of the second green node and drag upwards to the top right until your particle flow resembles a quarter of a circle. When you are satisfied with this shape, select the coordinate space node, hold and shift and press space, and go to add a normal transform node, not the one with XF. Now to create the other three quarters of the black hole circle, highlight all the nodes that you have inserted into this project, aside from media out one, hold in control and press G to group these, which should keep the nodes grid organized and help each part of our black hole be easily identifiable. With the group selected, hold and shift and press space, and go to add a merge tool. Select group one, hold and control and press C to copy. Deselect by clicking anywhere on your nodes grid, holding control and press V to paste. Connect this group to the green foreground triangle of merge one to join the two particle effects together. We will create half a circle which will make up our final black hole. Double click on this new group to open up each of the nodes inside this. Select Transform, go to Inspector, double click on the Transform header. For each part of your black hole circle, reduce the zoom value by 0.05 each time to make each of these black hole components slightly smaller to create a basic three-dimensional effect. Adjust position X and Y and also the rotate values. You can also adjust the width and height to position your particle effect on screen appropriately. Here we will create half the black hole circle. Close the group window on your nodes grid. Highlight and copy the two groups and merge nodes. Deselect the three highlighted nodes and paste these nearby. Select your original merge node. Hold and shift and press space and go to add a third merge tool which will enable us to join the other half of the black hole circle together. Connect the second merge tool to the green arrow of your third merge node. Double click on your third group, select transform, and under inspector, set zoom to 0.9, and adjust the position and rotate values where necessary. Avoid having the particles too close to the edge, so that the particles remain on screen and none of them have square ends as a result of going out of frame. I have adjusted the height slightly here in order to achieve this. Close the third group window, double click on the fourth group, select transform, set the zoom value to 0.85 and adjust the position and rotate values once again. Close the fourth group, select merge two, hold and shift and press space and go to select a Gaussian blur tool. Under inspector, set strength to 0.3 to add a gentle blurred effect. With Gaussian Blur selected, hold and shift and press space again, and select Transform XF. Use the center X and Y coordinates here to adjust the position of your black hole if you wish. Now to add the colors to our black hole. With this latest Transform node selected, hold and shift and press space once again, and go to add a fourth merge tool. Deselect this, Hold and shift and press space, and go to add fast noise. Connect fast noise to the green triangle of our fourth merge node. Select your latest merge node, and under merge in inspector, change apply mode to overlay, so that the colors are only applied to the particle effects. Select your fast noise node, under inspector and noise, change detail to 4.2, to make the clouded texture effects of the fast noise node more significant and reduce scale to 1.5 so that there is less color variation. To have sections of the black hole change color as part of your animation, increase the seeth rate slightly to 0.05. Now select color, change type from two color to gradient. Drag your mouse cursor over the gradient bar so that an addition symbol appears to the bottom right of this. Click once and then a second time so that you have four color node triangles all together underneath your bar. Select the first one, set the position of this to 0.3, double click on the color box and type in the following hexadecimal code hashtag 4E1367 to incorporate a dark purple color. Click OK. 
select the second node, ensure that this is set to position 0.45 and type in hashtag 852764 to add a dark pink shade. Select the third node, shift this towards the end so that the incorporation of this particular colour shade is minimum, set the coordinate to 0.9 and type in the following code hashtag F18907 for a vibrant orange glow. Lastly, select the node which appears at the end at position 1.0 and adjust the colour code from white to hashtag FFFF7F for a light yellow shade. And finally, select Merge 3, hold in Shift and press Space and go to add a Glow tool. With this new node selected, under Inspector and Controls, increase Glow Size to 100 to add a faint vibrancy to your black hole particles. The background music in this video is provided by the proud channel sponsor Audio, a link to the company's website where you can find out further information about purchases and discounts on a lifetime supply of music and sound effects can be found in this video's description box. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video is useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.